Good afternoon, folks, and thanks so much for joining us. We trust that your weekend was a great one. It is now time for our English Flash News Edition, in which we have prepared a translated version of the Albanian news for you today. In today's news, the U.S. Embassy has made an appeal for the incriminated politicians to be removed from the Albanian politics. The appeal was made by the U.S. Ambassador to our country, Donald Liu, during a conference entitled 24 Years of Strategic Partnership with the U.S. The ambassador said that the USA does not believe in a certain political party or leader, but in the Albanians who want to separate the country from crime and corruption. Mr. Liu said, Albanians continue to face the legacy of communism. They should fight the forces of crime and corruption every day in their schools, businesses, courts, and parliament. Albanians are strong, and we believe that Albania is ready to face this challenge without fear. The USA believes in Albania, not in a single political party or political leader. We believe in the capability of Albanians to facilitate this change for the sake of their children, said Ambassador Liu. President Nishani, speaking for the first time since the recent accusations in Albanian politics, seconded this request for decriminalization. He made the following statement. Our relationship with the USA is not only an official one. The U.S. is our closest strategic partner. It is a model and a reference point for us. The communism did not cause our friendship with the USA to fade. Albania's challenge now is to destroy the bunkers of crime. The, po the political parties must remove the incriminated from the public office, and the justice system must not fall prey to pressure. I support the agreement that was reached in the parliament back in December between the political parties, said Nishani. The Democratic MP Edward Salami said that there is a lot of work to be done to improve the relations between the countries. He said, Albania is lucky to have such a special rapport with the USA. If it was not for the US, Albania would not be on the course of freedom and democracy. The relationship with the US is a guarantee of peace and stability in the region. We will advance with the integration process with their support. America's primary interest is Albania's entry to the EU, but we as Albanians must do more for our own country. We must be more committed if we want to be pro-American, said Salami. The latest court session was held today for the incident of violence in Parliament that occurred last year. The High Court has reviewed the footage that was taken from the cameras in the corridor of the Parliament during the incident between the Democratic MP Strazi Miri and the Socialist MPs Kerin Indreu and Arben Ndoka. The video was shown in the court, system, uh, court session today and there were clearly offensive and threatening words against the Democratic MP. At the end of the court session, which lasted for 30 minutes, Awerd Buluk Bashi asked the court to finish the process as soon as possible. He said, based on all the testimonies, the court should close this process as quickly as possible, ensuring justice and punishing those who did violence so that these cases will not be repeated again. The Court of Serious Crimes has given an analysis report on their past year of activity. Their statistics show that the number of cases that they have heard in the court have increased by 60% since 2013. The chairman of the court, Sander Simoni, said that the highest number of cases reviewed by this court are involving domestic crime and trafficking of narcotics. Regarding corruption, Simone mentioned only one case. Judicial issues such as the fight against corruption and organized crime are priorities of this court, he said, and the European integration process as well. 2014 was the year with the largest number of issues. This court contributes to security in the country. The responsibilities of this court have increased greatly in the past year. The court has been engaged in the judicial reform as well. During 2014, the trafficking of narcotics increased by 50%. He continued, the number of closed cases was 24% higher than in 2013, even though we had fewer judges. We have closed 30 cases more than we did in 2013. The largest number of cases are for drug trafficking, said Simoni. Another protest was held today in front of the parliament demanding the removal of the assembly speaker, Ilir Meza, 
The protest included citizens who support the Democratic Party, the Democratic Youth, and the left-wing MPs. The protest was announced earlier by the opposition, and the citizens attended in response to the invitation of the opposition leader, Mulazim Basha. The Democrat MPs are Ben Ristani, Florian Mima, Gens Trazimiri, Kastriot Islami, and Yorida Tabaku boycotted the parliamentary commissions today and joined in the protests. The Democratic Secretary, Arben Ristani, made the statement that the Democratic Party will protest every day until Meta leaves his post. He said, We will protest in the morning, in the afternoon, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, and on Thursday our protest will be bigger. Meta must go. On Saturday we will protest in Duras and then all around Albania because our cause is right, because we cannot allow Albania to be governed by crime, said Ristani. The protest did not block the circulation of the vehicles, but it did cause some traffic congestion. A group of police officers were sent out to monitor the protest and to make sure that there were no accidents. Prime Minister Adi Rama visited the El Basan area today to oversee the work on the beginnings of a new waste management plant. He was joined by the Minister of Environment, Left Arcoca, and the mayor of El Basan. Mr. Rama said that this is the first plant in Albania that will transform waste materials into energy. He stated, I am very happy that the cancer that was affecting the lives of the citizens of El Basan is finally in the treatment phase. The same system will be applied all over Albania. This plant, which is being established for the first time in our country, represents the transformation of the environment. An environmental renaissance is starting for El Basan, said Prime Minister Rama. The plant, which has a cost of 21.7 million euro, is supposed to be up and running by next year. The collection and processing of waste will start four months from now. Later on, Rama returned to the city of El Basan to deliver 550 legalization permits. He made the statement that El Basan is one of the cities that has been most affected by illegal construction. The head of the assembly was in Divyaka today where he participated in the inauguration of a new collections point for agricultural products. Mr. Metza appealed to the farmers and to the agricultural workers to make, to make better use of the land's fullest potential as the land of Albania is very productive. According to Meta, if the land is utilized in an appropriate way, it can offer better quality products and improve the nation's exports. He made this statement. The employers of the Ministry of Agri Agriculture can come here and learn how the work is done and how the image of the country can change through hard work and through strong vision. I want to encourage everyone to work as hard as you work here. We have an extraordinary land for agricultural production and we must utilize it, said Mr. Mehta. Albania gave a presentation to the United Nations today on the initiatives taken by the Albanian government against gender-based violence. The Minister of Social Welfare, Arion Valiai, participated today in the 59th session of the Commission on the Status of Women in the UN. He was accompanied by the chairwoman of the Women's Alliance, Messila Doda, and the coordinator of the UN in Albania, Iris Laur Laurasi. Minister Valiai said that in 500 days, the current government has done more in this fight than, the, than what the previous governments have done in two decades. He made this statement. Today, Albania has some very good news. After 500 days of governance, the new government has decided that for the first time, women will receive economic aid. We are giving 5,000 social pensions to the grandmothers of Albania. It is the first time that two-thirds of the funding for employment will be used to hire more women, girls, and people with disabilities, especially in rural areas. One-third of the government and one-fourth of the parliament are now women, said Minister Valiai. The former ambassador to Austria has recommended a book to the public saying that all Albanian intellectuals should read it. The book is called The History of Austria and it has been translated into the Albanian language. The former ambassador to Albania, uh, of Albania to Austria 
says that every Albanian intellectual should have a copy of this book to better understand the history of a friendly country. After expressing his esteem for the book, the former ambassador pointed out the fact that the countries have an excellent relationship. He gave the reminder that when Austria was heading the EU, it offered great help in the agreement of association and stabilization. The ambassador of Austria to Albania spoke about the book as well. He said, I was enthusiastic about the idea of translating this book into the Albanian language, since it is a very important work. We have been friendly countries for years, and the translation of this book into, the, into Albanian is a good opportunity for the Albanian people to understand Austria's history, he said. Thanks for choosing Aura News as your source for English news. And uh, please join us again tomorrow at 6 p.m. for more translated news in English. Thanks and good night.